Glycine, Wikipedia Audio Glycine is the amino acid that has a single hydrogen atom as its side chain. It is the simplest possible amino acid. The chemical formula of glycine is NH2, CH2, COOH. Glycine is one of the proteinogenic amino acids. In the genetic code, all codons starting with GG, namely GGU, GGC, GGA, GGG, code for glycine. Glycine is a colorless, sweet tasting crystalline solid. It is the only achiral proteinogenic amino acid. It can fit into hydrophilic or hydrophobic environments, due to its minimal side chain of only one hydrogen atom. The acyl radical is GLYCYL. Glycine was discovered in 1820 by Henri Braconnot when he hydrolyzed gelatin by boiling it with sulfuric acid. He originally called it sugar of gelatin but a student of Liebig showed that it contained nitrogen, and Berzelius renamed it glycine. The name comes from the Greek word? Sweet tasting. Another early name for glycine was glycocol. History and Etymology Although glycine can be isolated from hydrolyzed protein, this is not used for industrial production as it can be manufactured more conveniently by chemical synthesis. The two main processes are emanation of chloroacetic acid with ammonia, giving glycine and ammonium chloride, and the Strecker amino acid synthesis, which is the main synthetic method in the United States and Japan. About 15,000 tons are produced annually in this way. Glycine is also cogenerated as an impurity in the synthesis of EDDA, arising from reactions of the ammonia CA product. In aqueous solution, glycine itself is amphoteric, at low pH the molecule can be protonated with a pKa of about 2.4 and at high pH it loses a proton with a pKa of about 9.6. Glycine is not essential to the human diet as it is biosynthesized in the body from the amino acid serine, which is in turn derived from 3-phosphoglycerate, but the metabolic capacity for glycine biosynthesis does not satisfy the need for collagen synthesis. In most organisms, the enzyme serine hydroxymethyltransferase catalyses this transformation via the cofactor pyridoxal phosphate. In the liver of vertebrates, glycine synthesis is catalyzed by glycine synthase. This conversion is readily reversible. Glycine is degraded via three pathways. The predominant pathway in animals and plants is the reverse of the glycine synthase pathway mentioned above. In this context, the enzyme system involved is usually called the glycine cleavage system. In the second pathway, glycine is degraded in two steps. The first step is the reverse of glycine biosynthesis from serine with serine hydroxymethyltransferase. Serine is then converted to pyruvate by serine dehydratase. In the third pathway of glycine degradation, glycine is converted to glyoxalate by diamino acid oxidase. Glyoxalate is then oxidized by hepatic lactate dehydrogenase to oxalate in a NAD plus dependent reaction. The half-life of glycine and its elimination from the body varies significantly based on dose. In one study, the half-life varied between 0.5 and 4.0 hours. Production the principal function of glycine is as a precursor to proteins. Most proteins incorporate only small quantities of glycine, a notable exception being collagen, which contains about 35% glycine due to its periodically repeated role in the formation of collagen's helix structure in conjunction with hydroxyproline. In the genetic code, 
glycine is coated by all codons starting with GG, namely GGU, GGC, GGA, and GGG. In higher eukaryotes, D-aminolavulinic acid, the key precursor to porphyrins, is biosynthesized from glycine and succinyl CoA by the enzyme ALA synthase. Glycine provides the central C2N subunit of all purines. Glycine is an inhibitory neurotransmitter in the central nervous system, especially in the spinal cord, brainstem, and retina. When glycine receptors are activated, chloride enters the neuron via ionotropic receptors, causing an inhibitory postsynaptic potential. Strychnine is a strong antagonist at ionotropic glycine receptors, whereas bicucoline is a weak one. Glycine is a required CO agonist along with glutamate for NMDA receptors. In contrast to the inhibitory role of glycine in the spinal cord, this behavior is facilitated at the glutamatergic receptors which are excitatory. The LD50 of glycine is 7930 mg kg in rats, and it usually causes death by hyperexcitability. In the U.S., glycine is typically sold in two grades, United States Pharmacopoeia, and technical grade. USP grade sales account for approximately 80-85% to 85 of the U.S. market for glycine. Where the customer's purity requirements exceed the minimum required under the USP standard, for example for some pharmaceutical applications such as intravenous injections, pharmaceutical grade glycine, often produced to proprietary specifications and typically sold at a premium over USP grade glycine, may be used. Technical grade glycine which may or may not meet USP grade standards, is sold at a lower price for use in industrial applications, e.g., as an agent in metal complexing and finishing. USP glycine has a wide variety of uses, including as an additive in pet food and animal feed, in foods and pharmaceuticals as a sweetener slash taste enhancer, or as a component of food supplements and protein drinks. Two glycine molecules in a dipeptide form are sometimes used as a way to enhance the absorption of mineral supplementation since, only when bound to a dipeptide, can be absorbed through a different set of transporters. Glycine serves as a buffering agent in antacids, analgesics, antiperspirants, cosmetics, and toiletries. Acid-base properties Metabolism A variety of industrial and chemical processes use glycine or its derivatives, such as the production of fertilizers and metal complexing agents. Biosynthesis Degradation Physiological function As a biosynthetic intermediate As a neurotransmitter Glycine is an intermediate in the synthesis of a variety of chemical products. It is used in the manufacture of the herbicide glyphosate. Glycine is a significant component of some solutions used in the SDS page method of protein analysis. It serves as a buffering agent, maintaining pH, and preventing sample damage during electrophoresis. Glycine is also used to remove protein labeling antibodies from western blot membranes to enable the probing of numerous proteins of interest from SDS page gel. This allows more data to be drawn from the same specimen, increasing the reliability of the data, reducing the amount of sample processing, and number of samples required. This process is known as stripping. The presence of glycine outside the Earth was confirmed in 2009, based on the analysis of samples that had been taken in 2004 by the NASA spacecraft Stardust from Comet Wild 2 and subsequently returned to Earth. 
Gleison had previously been identified in the Murchison meteorite in 1970. The discovery of cometary Gleison bolstered the theory of panspermia, which claims that the building blocks of life are widespread throughout the universe. In 2016, detection of Gleison within comet 67P Kiryumov Gerasimenko by the Rosetta spacecraft was announced. Uses The detection of Gleison outside the solar system in the interstellar medium has been debated. In 2008, the Max Planck Institute for Radio Astronomy discovered the glycine-like molecule amino acidonitrile in the large molecule HIMAT, a giant gas cloud near the galactic center in the constellation Sagittarius. Animal and Human Foods Cosmetics and Miscellaneous Applications Chemical Feedstock Laboratory Research Presence in space <laughs>